Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I was going to film an actual intro for this video, but it didn't really suit the content, so I decided to do a voiceover instead. I had planned a different video for this week, but uh, I think that will just come out next week instead. Anyways, let's just get into this video. Have you ever had a vision before? I'm not talking a vision for your life or where you plan to go in the future, but a vision, a complete out-of-body experience. I'm asking because maybe you're like me and you're not sure if you did. Or maybe you know for sure that you were blessed with a vision from God. And to that, I would say I'm really happy for you. But others though may have doubts. And then something so personal they're scared to share it with the world, like I was, and am. But I've been prompted to do so by the Holy Spirit and by others around me, so here goes nothing. I'm not ready to share it all, but here's a start. Or a cure figure? Uh, whatever, let me just explain. So this was back in January. January 18th, 2017 to be exact. The only way I could describe it is that I was watching a movie play out while I was also a part of it. And when I came to, it felt as if I had awoken from a very deep slumber. I was very restful, at peace, and a bit disoriented as I came back to what my present reality really was. Which, in my case, was my friend's basement where we were having young adult prayer meeting. All of us was in different sections of the room praying some were on the rug in the middle. I feel like there was one person in the corner of the room. The rest of us were on the couches that surrounded the rug. I could hear the worship music still playing as it was before, my head down in a pillow that I was using to support my face and hands on the couch. I didn't say anything to anyone. I wasn't sure if what I saw was actually real or not, so I just kept it to myself and then wrote it down in my journal when I got home. This crown, however, was the image that I did draw that evening when I wrote everything down. Now through my extensive research, which is incomplete as of right now, I've learned that we are granted at least five different crowns. The imperishable crown, crown of rejoicing, crown of righteousness, crown of glory, and the crown of life. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 to 25 is where it talks about the imperishable crown. Do you not know that a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize. Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 19 to 20 talks about the crown and rejoicing. For what is our hope, our joy, or the crown in which we will give glory? In the presence of our Lord Jesus, when he comes, is it not you? Indeed, you are our glory and joy. The crown of righteousness is mentioned in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, would award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed in his appearing. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 4 talks about the crown of glory. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. And finally, in Revelation chapter 2, verse 10, we talk about the crown of life. Do not be afraid of what you are about to suffer. I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you and you will suffer persecution for 10 days. Be faithful, even to the point of death, and I will give you life as your victor's crown. Each crown represents a different blessing or a promise that God is making to us for him to keep when we walk this life out with him. Now in the vision, I did see the crown twice, one at the beginning and one at the end which tells me it's probably pretty damn important. At the beginning, in the vision, I saw 
People who leaned on the Lord was then covered and cloaked in white, was given crowns. All their animals were carried before the Lord, and one huge crown was placed on Jesus' head. And then I saw it again at the end. When Jesus stood before me, I was dressed with white, a crown on each of our heads. Bowing, Jesus came down and picked me up and sat me down with him. I asked him what I could do to save the others. What are my gifts? What can I do with this platform? What can I do with painting and fashion? I still don't know the answer, but I'm hoping that this is a step in the right direction. Anyways, that's it for this video. This piece is called The Crown, if you can tell from the title and this whole topic. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Don't forget to share it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.